I mean, it's really just restores your health. Hey, Jeeves. Jeeves. You remember Jeeves? Askjeeves.com? Became G uh, just ask.com after a certain point. Well, I mean, she does. I don't know. Seems a little empty, doesn't it? Who the shit is that? Master Garth. All right, then. Clearly. Who knows? Oh, in the north wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and Little Nisi. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. On what? What does he research? Good question. On history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the old kingdom. That being Fable One, I believe. A trader in old time said his stuff was from the old kingdom. Yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. We bought a piece of it, and we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Address him as my lord. Speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. Our sister's tall. Lady or he's short. Okay. Speak. Address him as lord. Speak when spoken to. Don't talk about the wife and kid. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children... Hey, Lucky, what's up? How's the wife? Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. Well, children, it's come to my attention that you have some. It's just embarrassing, really. It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up, and we made a wish, and then it started to glow, and it disappeared. <laughs> what if it hadn't? What if we were like, yeah, it's 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 back where we were from. You could have mentioned that you wanted that. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. Oh. What was your money? Money. I wanted money. Cold hard cash. Like this one. Oh, for God's sake. Uh. Perhaps that could be arranged. I just want money. I am working to rebuild. I'm working on something wonderful for which I need individuals with particular talents. Great. I beat a guy up. I think. Yeah, I totally did. Sure. Would you kindly stand in the circle? What that one? Sure, why not? I trust stone circles like this. Looks like a weird compass. It is more than a weird compass. The globe next to it threw me off, though. Okay. I mean... Great, sweet. What the... What do you mean old stories? They're just... People go out and do shit. Huh. Um, well, that's awkward. God damn it. Oh, interesting. Cool! So, that's good, right? Um, that's a gun. Uh, listen, I'm gonna have to object to the gun. Look, buddy. Come on now. Really? I'm gonna shoot a kid. Come on. I can't allow you to live either. That's a dick move. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Don't lie to a kid you're about to kill. It's just it's icing on the cake of douchiness, really. 
Okay, so. I normally have a problem with people assuming they've gone and killed the hero. But let's be fair. He shot me in the chest out a window, and then I fell like that. Okay? Destiny it. Is not your destiny today. <laughs> and she might have interfered. In fact, I'm pretty sure she did interfere, because that would kill literally everyone. So. I'm going to give Lucien a break on the whole assuming I'm dead. He shot me out a window and I fell like 10 stories, crashed into a roof on my way down, and landed on the stone ground outside. Middle of the street in winter. So at a bare minimum, I freeze to death. Not unreasonably! What, I was so sad my sister died, I lived? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Far from the dark alleys of Bowerstown, life slowly returned to his small broken body. Yeah, no kidding. He awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. He reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Ten so yeah, winters, I give Lucien a break for assuming I'm dead. Ten years! What was I, like, seven? So now I'm seventeen. I'm gonna say I was eight. You know what? I was ten. I was ten. Then ten years passed, and now I'm twenty. I like setting characters to roughly my own age. So yeah, here's a twenty-one-year-old man. Twenty-one. Look at that face. Yep. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Cool. Who do I kill? Damn it. There's a chest near your caravan. I've left a few things inside that might prove useful. I live in a caravan? Cool. Alright, collect your new equipment from from the chest by your caravan. Alright, so if memory serves, they give me like a really shitty sword and a gun. Maybe some armor too. But what I want is the hammers. Hammer and flintlock pistol. That is my go-to weaponry. I dare say. Wasn't it here? Oh, it's over there. I see now. It's the one with the... That means it's my house. This is my caravan. I can sleep here for bonuses, and it will act as a marital home if I marry. Rusty Longsword! Use. Light Splinter... Ugh. Placebo Health Potion. It actually makes you feel better, plus it tastes like sugar, as weak as health potions come. I mean, fair enough. Dog Elixir. Collar of Holding. Spade. Alright, first of all, I think we need... Wait, can I see what I look like yet? No, still no abilities. Logbook, perhaps. Oh, personality. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's neutral at the moment. The opportunist. Your inability... Oh, sorry. You inhabit a moral gray area, doing what you feel like when you feel like it. Well, I am definitely leaning towards evil. Although, that that describes me pretty well already. So far, I'm unknown, except for the Bower Gypsy Lake camp. Uh, I'm not particularly attractive. Oh, Good. Stats. Combat. I beat up a kid. That doesn't count for anything? Damn it. Dog. Combat and treasure hunting. Alright, cool. How do I equip... I believe it's this. But I definitely need to equip the dog collar. Collar of holding. Effectively binds your dog to, well, the collar itself, using ancient magic. Use the collar in your inventory to put it on the dog that allows you to rename him whenever you want. Absolutely. What am I going to name? Oh, well, it's going to be better than dog, I'll tell you that. So, I'm thinking, in honor of the, like I said, wonderful artist who is doing the thumbnails for me, it's going to be Noneko, for now. 
I'll change it to Xander at some point, in honor of, because that was my original dog in Fable 2, and he's the one who got me doing the YouTube thing in the first place. Blah, blah, blah. So, for now, it's no Neko. Uh, likes. Dog treats. Fetch and praise. Doesn't dislike anything. Uh, his opinions of me, he loves me, and is neutral towards funny versus mean, and ugly versus attractive. Okay? I can set nickname. Oh, okay. That's my faithful companion, no Neko. Cool. There you go. I know Neko means cat, but now you're a fucking dog. Live with it. If you ever end up seeing it. Probably won't. Someone's just tried flirting with me. Why not try flirting back? Because I'm not interested. What's up? Now come with me. Open the gate. I want that man's mustache. Give it to me. Good luck. I can't take out my weapons yet. You've got me? What? Would you fucking move? Take this. God damn it. Bower Lake Tomb Seal. A strange dark seal which fits the Bower Lake Tomb Door. It is a powerful artifact, the kind of which all healers once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Neat. Now, look down towards the left. It's an outhouse. What's up? The seal will allow you to enter that tomb. That's an outhouse. In its darkest or a fishing cabin. Chamber of Fate. Neat. Okay. Whee! Yep. Fable 2 added jumping off shit. As opposed to just going around fences. Yep. I like the tutorial in Fable 2 much better than Fable 1. Which is like... Eight years long. 150 bucks as well. Swimming around. Nice. Alright, in we go. That's all it took, huh? Sweet. Drawing up in the middle of town causes full bone panic, especially if you're waving around with the safety mode off, even if you use it to help them. The old tomb. All right, I think we have time to clear out the old tomb. Speaking to you through the guild seal, you will need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry, the water at the bottom will break your fall. Oh, is that right? Boy, no hesitation on my part. I can respect that. Dog as well. Neko, you're a good dog. You hear that? Time to fight... Oh, fuck. What are these things called? Bobbins? No. These are just giant beetles. 